Hey guys, this is Jay. Welcome to Keepsakes and today I'm going to discuss the World Cosplay Summit 2018. We've just gone through day 2 and that means the Omotenashi Day where volunteers of the WCS interact with the delegates, the representatives, the participants of this year's summit. Now, speaking of participants, I'm going to give a rundown so far of around 36 teams who are competing or participating in the summit and we'll start according to the order when they first appeared. Team Germany, Diamond and Symphonia based in Berlin. Diame is a pastry chef. Symphonia is in the creative industry. Diame has 75-ish costumes. Diame is into classic anime while Symphonia is the same but unlike Diame, Symphonia is to quote in a committed relationship with Netflix. Next up, Team France, we have Anshela and Lina, both like the classics. Anshela is into Sailor Moon, Lina is into Dragon Ball. Anshela has 20 old costumes though she made 100 while Lina has 70. Both have been cosplaying for years. Next up, Team Italy, Martina and Simone. Martina studied graphics and illustration. Simone has been cosplaying since 2010. Both like Attack on Titan, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Yurun Lagan and Evangelion. Martina has around 15 costumes while Simone has around 6 to 7. Martina is motivating herself uh, to move up, saying she is very critical about her works because without self-criticism, there are no improvements. Meanwhile, Simone is a lonely boy in the past and is inspired by the characters he reads. Cosplay is his way of expressing himself and his cosplay journey found him with many friends and even his girlfriend. Next up, Team Japan, we have Mio and Mame Mayo, both like Hunter x Hunter, Full Metal Alchemist, also Max Susan, and Mame Mayo is into Love Live and Ultan as well. As Team Japan, it is their proud home and amazing country in the anime and cosplay scene. Mio has 50 costumes while Mame Mayo has around 30 to 40 which she can wear. Mio is cosplaying male characters from Shonen Jump and other manga and aims to be a cosplayer who can do action well and is also a light-hearted person. Mami Mayo admires heroes in her childhood, wants to make her dreams come true, and wants to make more friends. Next up, Team Singapore, Hajime and Hikari. Hajime likes Gurren Lagan. Hikari likes Tokyo Ghoul. Hajime and Hikari have been both cosplaying for 8 years. Hajime likes the culture and technologies Japan is offering, while Hikari is greatly influenced by Japanese culture in her life and in her art. Hajime has 20 costumes and Hikari has, to quote, too many. Both are grateful and thankful to be Team Singapore 2018 for this year's summit. Next up, Team USA, we have Meow Meow and JZ. I actually have to get more info from them, but I believe that they were selected at Anime Expo just this past few months. Team China, we have Go Go and Deng Pao or Deng Yu. Go Go likes Darling in the Franks, while Deng Yu likes Rosen Maiden and Paprika. Go Go has five costumes, while Deng Yu has to quote about a dozen. Deng Yu would like to have a job related to her hobby and is also inviting everyone to her hometown, Chongqing, for a very spicy hot pot. Next up, Team Spain, we have Black Cat and Isil Yel, Inu Neko cosplay team. They cosplayed Mononoke, both like Princess Mononoke. Black Cat has 25 costumes, Isil Yel has 15. Black Cat has his best plan ever in the form of sushi, cats, and steam, while Isil Yel describes herself as a dreamer. Up next, Team Brazil, Paulo Sweet and Blair, they both cosplayed near Automata when they got the title of representing Brazil in this year's summit. From Thailand, we have Jasper Z and her partner and they got selected at the Asia Comic Con just past few months too. Team Denmark, we have Aiko Hime and Tinyaso. Tinyaso is no stranger to WCS as she has joined in 2014 as the country's representative together with her partner before Shinji. Tinyaso seems to be watching past anime nowadays as she is into Rare Game of the Rose King, Adekan, and Zone 00 compared to her viewing habits around 4 years ago. And Aiko Hime is into DN Angel and Darker Than Black, has 25 costumes, while Tinyaso has made more than 100 for herself. That speaks experience for your Tinyaso. Team Korea, we have Dog Dog and Seal Eun. They both cosplayed Fate when they got the title and the prestige to represent the country in the summit. 
Dog Dog has 15 costumes while Seal Un has 10. Dog Dog likes Fist of the North Star, Ash Tano Joe, and Fate, while Seal Un likes Oran High School Host Club, Gintama, and Death Note. Dog Dog is into Japanese mythology and Seal Un thinks Japan to quote is a country that is interested in cultural familiarity. Team Mexico is here. We have the Banana Cost Boys, Banana Ed and Banana Luis. Both cosplayed characters from One Punch Man when they got the prestige and the title and the right to represent Mexico in this year's summit. Both like Pokemon and as a cosplay team, they both have nine costumes. Both are dancers who love video games and also Luis is a model. Next up, we have Kiralee and Georgia representing Team Australia. Both are into clamp. Kiralee has 20 costumes. Georgia has 45. Georgia has been cosplaying since 2013. Team Finland is here. Sedate and Neo. Sedate is into DN Angel and Excel Saga. Neo is into One Piece, Boku no Hero Academia, Psycho Pass, Noragami, and Holic. Sedate has 15 costumes while Neo has 40. Team Malaysia has been selected too. They are representing the country. Dova and Shinku cosplaying as characters from Hoseki no Kuni. They are happy that they were able to cosplay the characters they love and at the same time represent the country in this year's summit. Team Netherlands is here. Toki and Iluna Neko. Toki likes Stein, Skate, and Nana. Iluna Neko likes Yu-Gi-Oh! and Rose and Maiden. Toki has 20 costumes while Iluna Neko has to quote close to 100. Toki has started cosplaying in 2007 with her older sister who was one of the Dutch representatives of the World Cosplay Summit. This is in 2017 and based on past records it must be Mirai. Iluna Neko studied theater design and aside from being a cosplayer is very fortunate to combine her hobby with her work. Team UK is here. We have Gnomes and Chris Mini. They cosplayed Full Metal Alchemist when they were bestowed with the prestige. Chris Mini has been into cosplay for 11 years and is into cosplay fitness. He was a guest in the Full Metal Forever podcast and is the first UK male to qualify for the WCS among his achievements in the first half of the year 2018. Gnomes has a lot of videos featuring cosplay wigs. Team Russia, we have Rokshata and Shupash Kartyan. Rokshata is into Hoseki no Kuni, RG Veda, and Pop Team Epic. Hi, Sumipe. Shupash Kartyan is into Slam Dunk, Inazuma 11, and Danganronpa. Both like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Rokshata has 58 costumes, 12 of which are JoJo's. Shupash Kartyan has 43. Rokshata has been cosplaying for 5 years and is a chemical engineer. She also has her big cosplay team of 57 members cosplaying characters from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Meanwhile, Shupash Kartyan is a freelancer. Rokshata did her WCS costume for almost half a year but with interruptions. Team Swex ID, Team Indonesia, Yumaki and Machibun cosplaying characters from Warrior Orochi 3. They have been selected at Enichi Sai, which is the culminating event for the WCS in Indonesia. Team Hong Kong, we have Kaori and Kurodan, both cosplaying characters from the Fate series. Kaori likes Gundam, Kurodan likes Persona 5, both like Macross Frontier and Fate, and Kaori has 20 costumes while Kurodan has more than 40. Kaori likes to make cosplay props while Kodan is studying fashion design. So I think I think these complement well with their team because if you have someone who knows props, if you have someone who is into tailoring, maybe that would work well in the costume side of things. And I'm expecting that Hong Kong will do their best. Next up, we have Taiwan. We have Shimada and Kamishiro. No info of them as of now in the WCS website, but. I'd like to give a side comment that Hong Kong and Taiwan and East Asian countries are into fate hell right now and I believe Lotus Macau, a cable channel for movies, is also uh, broadcasting fate ads inviting everyone to play Fate Gun Order and I, I mean I think that is actually a thing. We have Team Philippines, Sergio Santa Ana, Kai Raito, Sergio is a pro crafter Kai is a graphic and interior designer as well as being an ESL teacher. Kai is into free right now. Sergio is into popular shonen anime such as Flame of Preka, Yu Yu Hakusho, Naruto, and Dragon Ball. Kai and Sergio are both active in competitions. And 
if you have heard my podcast over at Anchor, you could have heard the journey that Team Sekai has been through so far. Starting from the NCR qualifiers all the way to the national finals that was held in Davao last April. Tanuki in Nakun from Team Vietnam cosplaying characters from Yami Shibai. Tanuki likes Doraemon, Nakun likes One Piece, both have around 20 costumes. Team Portugal, Leonor Gracias and Manon. Leonor is into Trinity Blood and Macross Frontier, while Manon is into Urian Ice and Fate. Both have more a hundred costumes, and Leonor is an active pioneer who created his own cosplay association in Portugal with the aim to educate cosplayers and outsiders and spread the word about cosplay as a form of art and not just a hobby. Meanwhile, Manon is into the content industry as she is a content creator, designer, and photographer. Team Kuwait is here! QB Assassin, Majed, and Crow, Ali, both like Naruto. Assassin is into Assassin's Creed, maybe that's where he got his name. Far Cry, Dark Souls 3, Assassin has 6 costumes, Crow has 7, and both are cosplaying for 5 years. Next up, Team Myanmar, Ayanami in Red, Tof Rainbow Nanades, both like Token Rando and Hakuoki. Red has 30 costumes, and Ayanami is quoted to saying she stopped counting her costumes at 20. Red is said to be struggling as a doctor, while Ayanami's specialty is singing, voice acting, and dancing. Team Belgium, we have Amochi and Lazy Mayu. Amochi has 53 costumes and Lazy Mayu has 100. Amochi has been cosplaying since 2012 and is an architect. And they were quoted to saying that in Belgium, we only have the WCS since two years. So I'm very happy to participate to the finals this year. Team Chile, we have Chrome and Eriza. No info of them as of now at the WCS website. And we will have to check on them later on. We have Team Incha, we have Akacha and Color Me Aurin. They both cosplayed characters from Madoka Magica. Akacha likes One Piece, Aurin likes Card Captor Sakura, Inuyasha, and Hellgirl. Akacha has quoted to say that she has cosplayed more than 50 characters so far, while Aurin states that she is the only and first one in Incha to have completed 100 costumes. Akanksha is a graduate of India's best fashion school and Aurin, who is of Persian lineage, is a pro cosplayer, making her hobby her job. Team Switzerland, we have Asara and Rin. They are a team and they cosplayed characters from Persona 5. Both are into shonen sports series such as IQ and Yoapeda. Asara is into Wotapoi. Rin is into Akatsuki no Yona. Asara has around 40 costumes. Rin has 36. And here's the thing. They are sisters. Team Canada, we have Mati and Celtic Sakura. Both like Card Captor Sakura. Mati has around 24 costumes. Celtic Sakura has around 40. Mati has been cosplaying since 2008. And Celtic Sakura has been here since 2006. Shiraisu and Grimalkin forming Team Sweden. I believe they're cosplaying characters from Cowboy Bebop. They are into pre 2000 anime such as Evangelion and Gurren Lagan. Shiraisu has more than 30 costumes. Grimalkin has more than 20. And that is for the recurring teams at the WCS this year. Now let's move on to the newcomers. We have Team South Africa, Jinx Kidin, Mao Okami, cosplaying as characters from The Legend of Zelda. Both like Boku no Hero Academia, Jinx Kitty has made about 30 full cosplays and Mao Okami has more than 20. Team Bulgaria is here, we have the Airstress and Zin cosplaying characters from Black Butler. The Airstress is a second year set design student and a dedicated horse rider with a passion for stage arts that is based on her bio in the WCS website. Meanwhile, Zin is a film student and loves all types of media and visual arts. The Earth Stress has 44 costumes. Meanwhile, Zen also stopped counting at 20. Team Costa Rica is here. Last but not the least, we have Anthony Zhu and William A.S. Anthony is a cosplayer for 11 years, works as a sous chef. Meanwhile, William is a culture and art fanatic. Anthony has around 40 costumes, and William has quoted to say that he has. And William was quoted that he has at least 45 costumes. So that is the roundup of all the teams that are participating in the World Cosplay Summit. Meanwhile, we do not have representatives from Puerto Rico and the United Arab Emirates this year. Here's, here's the thing, I've heard, uh, once I've heard about WCS, 
I've also learned that there are other cosplay competitions such as the Clara Klaus Cosplay Cup, the European Cosplay Gathering, and actually in Netherlands, the anime con there, the Clara Klaus Cosplay Cup, Team Yurika Ai was invited to judge and that is a great thing for them, uh, of course. Um, they were never expected to go to a European country, but then again, this is what happens when you're part of WCS and we're selected as a representative. So we are inviting everyone to monitor this, join WCS if you can, and let's help spread the word by using the hashtag Cosplay Summit. Discuss this online. That has been the roundup of the teams, 36 teams that are going to compete or participate or observe the World Cosplay Summit this week. And we are here to monitor activities from our end, Team Philippines, Team Sekai, and of course, uh, I just had to plug in that we have a Facebook frame for Team Sekai, and I believe some other uh, other teams uh, have also have their own Facebook page. So, if you're representing, uh, if you're from the country where the representatives are in, you may want to find the Facebook frames and go support your teams from various countries. I'm hoping that I'm, uh, I'm hoping that I can get a decent time to watch the finals this weekend of. 4th and 5th August as they go online streaming via Nico Nico. This has been Jay for Keepsakes and I'll be hearing you soon. Take care.